So students, today I'm going to discuss with you writing skills, okay? And uh, yes, it's a very important part of your uh, assessment. So you're going to have your reading skills, you have your writing skills and your literature part. So uh, I, I think so, like you can get uh, five to eight uh, questions uh, from writing skills also. So what is it that you can get? You're wondering that in multiple choice questions, what kind of questions can you get? Now, before I start here, let, what are the writing skills that are included in this term? Yes, you have notice writing, you have advertisements, your display advertisements. Yes, you have article writing and you have letter to editor discussing any issues, discussing any problem. So before... skills let us discuss the format and yes you will wonder here that once we have done the format uh, i think so most of your questions can be answered okay all of you know the letter format you all know the format of a letter yes please note it down note it down all of you make sure you note it down in some notebook which will be opening during your test days and during your revision days Oh, yes, ma'am, we'll definitely be opening it because where are we going to find the answers from? When are we going to put it on a Google form? We need that notebook. Okay, see how much I know you. Right? So, over here. so please write down. You have, of course, generally when I say, I would say this is the format of a Okay? Right? Now, when we write here a letter to an editor, it is naturally not just because we love writing that yes, he is, uh, the editor is going to solve our problem. It is about discussing any issue we want to highlight. Okay. And here, this is the format of the letter. Now, please note down here, all of you, this part, your date and address part. What is it called? What do you call it? What do you, it is? known as the heading yes right then you have your subject then you have your salutation salutation is the way you address the person yes the person you are writing to so of course uh, dear uh, like uh, the person you are writing it to of course here yeah, to dear sir right sir is also completely acceptable okay Right? And uh, right in your formal letters, of course, which you don't have. So you, you address that person by name, if you are aware. So Mr. Aroda, Mr. Sharma, right? You can write like that, your salutation, okay? Then comes your content. Now, please, let us just, so what are the, you can see the way in which we talk about the content here. Yes, so when we talk about a letter here, it is not any fixed number of paragraphs have to be there. For the letter to the editor, you have five paragraphs. When you write an article, there have to be six paragraphs. You write a speech, there have to be eight paragraphs. No, when we write a paragraph, it is, you know, when we want to start with a new idea, a new thought. Yes, you're aware of that, aren't you? Now, when I talk, please note this down. What is this known as? This is the heading. Right? Really, when we discuss all this, this is the format. We say this is the format of a letter. This is the way you're going to write it. This is your heading. This is your content. And this is your complimentary close. What is the complimentary close? Yours truly, yours sincerely, yours obediently. That is the complimentary close. Please note it down. What is here? Or the subscription, or the close, or signing off. Okay? So I, I might ask you in your uh, test here that what is this known as or what is uh, there? Or where do we write the complimentary close? Where do we write the subject? Okay. What is the correct way of writing the salutation? What is the correct way of writing the date in the letter? You all know that. So, right. So here it is the little minute details you have to be aware of. Are we listening? Yes, ma'am, we're listening. We always listen and we love listening to you, especially since our Zoom classes have been going on. We become very patient and good listeners, okay? So what is this? This is your head, this is your subject, your salutation. When I talk about the what will be the first 
paragraph. It is your opening paragraph. The first paragraph is your introduction. Very good. Yes, Abhishek, right? Absolutely. So first is your introduction. It is your purpose of writing the letter. Oh my God, I want to complain to you. language are we going to use properly kind of language formal language it has to be formal it has to be polite and as we say we should mind our p's and our q's as we say so we have to be very particular about the way we write okay not the way you speak don't use your slangs and i want to say this and i'm gonna do this no, you're not uh, going to do that. You will not write like that. Okay, fine. So please here, yeah, it is not necessary the way you speak. That is the way you're going to write. So please keep these few things in mind. Okay. So I talk about my first paragraph. What is it about? It's about the introduction, right? My purpose of writing. Next is I talk about the problem. Yes, I, I discuss the problem. Whether it is about the bad uh, roads here or you're talking about how people are not uh, very, you know, like uh, following the, the COVID protocol. Or you can appreciate also, letter to editor is not always complain, complain, complain. It can be something good also. You want to appreciate. You want to motivate people. You read an article and you're so happy about that. You know, like what is happening, some changes that are happening, progress is happening. You want to talk about that, right? So you can, you want people to know that it's such a big achievement that our people are doing so well, our, uh, the common man is there putting in so much of effort, whether it is towards environment conservation or whether it is about uh, keeping the city clean and green, all these things you can hear. So it is not necessarily just grumbling and complaining. Last is here, we talk about a solution. And of course, we have our favorite lines here. I hope that the authorities wake up from the deep slumber and uh, take a necessary action, right? So we are not here telling the editor, please, Mr. Editor, go and wake up these people and tell them to do the job. What can the editor do? He can publish a letter, right? He, he can make more people read it, right? Who is the audience of this letter? If I ask you a question, who is the audience of the audience, isn't it? So what is the audience here? By audience, I mean not the people in there, the stadium, you know, watching something happening, right? It is the people who will read the letter. So the audience are the readers here, okay? Right? And does, you can say, a letter have a bigger audience than uh, a speech? Definitely. More people read newspapers, right? And how many people can you address? 100, 200, right? 400 maybe, right? Whatever. But yes, as the letter it here, it has a wider reaching impact. That is why we feel. Yeah, you will write down the, that. Yes, it is an awakening call for the public and the concerned authorities to take action regarding this matter, right? And of course, I have told you time and again, when we write about solutions. So if I am talking about the issue of garbage in your city, overflowing garbage, littering of roads, what steps do we take to rectify that? I always say as an individual, what can you do? What can you do as an individual? You can make sure that you don't litter the road. You make sure that you throw the garbage when you are there in the public uh, places in the right spot. Yes, you make uh, sure that uh, you wait for the person who comes to uh, click and uh, you give it to him. You don't go throwing it around in vacant plots, right? So as the society collectively, we should realize it is our responsibility, okay? It is that what are the steps you going to take? Then only we can tell others also to take the necessary action. Now let us look at it here. What is this top part called of the letter? What is it called? The heading. Right, then you have your subject. What is a subject? Subject should be brief or should be three sentences long? It should be brief, 
right? Of course, uh, and the subject should be in such a way that it highlights the content of the letter. So when someone is there going through the letter and you know, when uh, you immediately open the letter in a formal letter here, business letter here, what is it that you immediately see the subject? Or what is it, the issue here, right? Fine. So the subject has to be there. It should be brief and relevant. Okay, right? Not very lengthy. And a salutation according to the person whom you are addressing, the person you are writing to. Okay? And when do we use uh, respected sir? When you're writing your applications, when you're writing to the higher authorities, right, of the institution of your, uh, right? So then we write. Otherwise, Jenny, it is not. Then I come to the content. I've told you about the division of the content. What is the, where does the complimentary close come at the end? What else is it called? It is called a subscription. It is also called the signing off. It is also called the close. So please remember the terms which are used. Now, when I write a letter, do I use a mixed format? Do I write one address over here? Do I write the close over here? Or is it on one side? What do I do? Yes, my sleeping beauties, get up and give me the answer. Yeah, Malik, what? What side is it there? All these here, your heading and your content and your clothes. Which side? Are the left side or right side? Or the middle or everywhere? Wherever I feel, oh, why is this face left? Let me write something over here. Is that what we do? No, it is on one side only. We do not have a mixed format. It is not a mixed format. So it is not that this to the left and that towards the right. Okay, right? Or this uh, towards the left and this letter towards the right. Earlier it was, but now we have, we don't have that mixed kind of a format. Okay, so please remember all these things. Will you remember? Will you remember? Main thing you should remember what is what and what comes where, okay? Send us address if it is not given, then you have to make, generally for a letter to the editor, we can write examination hall XYZ city also. No, when we write a letter to the editor, we can write that also. Yes, examination hall XYZ city, but most of the information or all the information would be given to you, the address that you have to write, okay? Yes, is it clear, all of you? Done? Okay, so can I move to the next writing skill? Yes. Now let us talk about and the writing skills are going to be included in both your tests. Right? So here, let us talk about notice writing. Yes, all of you quickly draw the format of notice. Now let us decide here what is there to do. So please uh, make the format of the notice. What do you have to do here? Notice goes inside a box, okay? So mine is more of a squarish, but it should be a little rectangular. So I'll make it like that, don't worry. Let us make it a little like that, okay? The purpose is we have to put it for in the box, right? Is it, is this box ornamental? Is it decorative? Use of it, what is the use of the box here? For highlighting? Yes, for drawing our attention, okay? Right, now what comes where? What do I write first over here? I write the name of the institution or the organization, the issuing the authority, isn't it? Issuing authority will be here, okay? So it is the name of the institution. It is the name of the organization. Then comes, yes, the word notice. Yeah. Then comes your heading. What is the heading highlight? What is the heading highlight? The purpose of the notice, right? What is there? What are the things here? Just like you have the subject highlighting, what are the contents? Similarly, we have the heading highlighting what are the contents over here. Then I write the date over here. Okay. Do I write time in notice? Do I write day in notice? 
No. So please refrain and be control yourselves from writing all these things. Okay. Please get the formats here. This might be your objective type, but later on you will be doing subjective also. So then it is going to be a problem. Okay. So then our fingers will not move only. We'll be just busy with the typing here. Okay. So what are the things that we need to write? First of all, yes, our purpose. Okay. Then I talk about the target group. What is the target group in a notice? Please tell me someone. What is the target group for whom the notice is meant? Okay. Which classes? Is it for the whole school? Is it for classes 11th and 12th? Is it 6th to 8th or 10th and 12th? Whatever it is there. Or is it for the employees of a particular organization okay right so we will do this accordingly right so here the target group what is the target group target group the people who have to be addressed so the people for whom the notice is meant for okay many are going to read the notice because it is there displayed at a prominent place in the school in the campus in the office in the organization right but yeah those who have to take action or for whom it is meant for they will take the necessary action, okay? Then, of course, I also talk about date, time, venue. Yes, the date, time, venue, okay? Yeah. Are you noting it down? Please write. Write, okay? It's nice to write, you know, it improves your handwriting and it makes you a little active also, okay? I have to keep on making up my students again and again. Half of the students are asleep. They've not bothered to join the class. Where are they? Still having a breakfast, I suppose so. So daytime menu and then, of course, I have follow-up action. If it is a competition, whom you have to give the names to. If it is an inter-school competition, who all can participate, right? Whom you have to give the names. What is the last day? Any interesting prizes? Why should people participate in this? So that is the follow-up action. There is going to be a coaching camp, you know, for sports or for basketball or football. What is the follow-up action? What uh, you have uh, to bring your parents' permission if there is any kind of uh, fee that you have to deposit. That is follow-up action. Who has to do the follow-up action? Is it the authorities or the target group has to take? The target group. Very good. I just uh, really like Abhishek. He's so responsive and so alert. Very good. So who has ta to take the action? It is the target group. Okay. Very nice. And yes, in the end, I have... What do I do in the end here? Yes. I put my signature, I write my name, I put my designation. Okay, so now what do we call this? It's not visible? Okay, so it is not visible, is it? Right, so I have, what do I call this? What do I call this? This is the issuing authority. Okay, this is there. This is the organization. This is the issuing organization, right? This is the designated person who can put up that notice, who has the authority to put up that notice, okay? Right, on behalf of this organization. The person who is over here, is there a responsible person? Is there an office bearer? Is there, a, you can say, an important part of that institution and organization? and has the authority to put up the notice. Is this clear? Yes. So when I talk about, if I ask you, what is the correct sequence of, uh, or I will say, I have given you three things. Place them in the correct order. In which uh, sequence do they come in a notice? Okay, write down, please write down. Lazy people, get up and start writing. I'm not writing the question on the blackboard. I'm dictating it to you. And show me your notebooks that you have written. My offline students, I don't have any problem with them. It's my online ones I'm worried about. You're becoming uh, too lethargic. Okay? 
Come on, let me see your responses now. Yes, come on, write down what is the correct order of the following items in a notice. Okay, right. Yes, what would it be? I'll say the word notice. So now the blackboard is in front of you. You can tell me. I can rearrange it in various ways. Okay, one is the word notice follow up heading. Second is follow up heading word notice, right? Third is follow up heading notice. And last is notice heading follow up, which is the correct option. Last, okay? So please, you will have to identify the sequence. I, I will give here that this is uh, four uh, ways there, or they can uh, say the ways of arranging the, the content of a notice. What is the correct way? So you have to identify that, okay? Right, clear? Yes? Now, if I say, right, what is the purpose of writing a notice? I, I can say it is giving important uh, information. Yes. It is uh, about an upcoming event. Correct? Yes. Right? Is it about uh, selling a household goods? Do we write a notice for that? So you have to identify, right? So you should identify. Notice is not for that. What is the purpose of a notice? Notice is there to give information about an upcoming event, right? Any up, you know, like important uh, notice or important change, right? You have, it could be about the change in the timings. It could be about the change in uniform, right? It could be about important instructions that need to be followed, okay? Right? But of course, when I talk about buying, yes, yes, absolutely. Very nice, uh, just there. It is uh, drawing our attention towards a topic which is involving the target group. And notice here, it is not for the general public unless it is displayed at a general place. So when we do our display advertisements, which I'm going to discuss next, I, I want to talk about public appeal also. This is also one kind of advertisement. It is generally, you know, the content is somewhat similar to a notice, but it is an advertisement. Like when you ask someone to donate blood, you ask someone to donate for charity, you are informing about that this restaurant has been closed because of not following the health standards, right? Okay, or the hygiene standards. Okay, so this is for the public. It is information for the public, but it is written in that manner, okay? Fine, but we're not, don't confuse yourselves with that. Let us focus with this, okay? And uh, so our test day is Tuesday. And uh, right, so I, I'll get in time with you all to discuss uh, the chapters that are left, okay? So now what are you supposed to do? What are you supposed to do? You're supposed to read everything thoroughly. Go to the formats, right? Okay, yes. So I'll continue with now display advertisements formats like this only we're going to discuss and uh, I have to discuss uh, deep water with you. Isn't it right? So we'll manage. Okay. Any doubts you people have? Any questions? <laughs>